everyone, I'm Ed Petrie from CBBC. Are you ready for your letters and sounds phonics lesson today? Hello children, my name's Josh. Can you remember what a phoneme is? Yes, that's right, a sound. Can you remember what a grapheme is? Yes, that's right, a sound written down. Can you remember what a digraph is? Yes, two letters that make one sound. Great remembering! Let's read some phonemes you know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. This first card says uh. Now I want you to read the sounds aloud to yourself. Fantastic! Let's check you got them right. Read them aloud with me. Uh. Ear. Air. Your. I. Oo or U. Uh. E. A. Fantastic! I'm going to mix the cards up so they're in a different order. And once again, I want you to read them aloud. Are you ready? Let's check you got them right. Read them aloud with me. Ear. Air. Your. I. Oo or U. Uh. E. A. Uh. Well done. Super sounds. Let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Here's a word. Can you spot the digraphs? Yes, the digraphs are ch and a. Fantastic. Read each sound as I point. Now, blend and read the word. Shall we do it together? Ch, a, m, chain. A chain is made of links. A necklace can be a chain. Here's another word. Can you spot the digraphs in this word? Hmm. Yes, the digraphs are A and A. Uh. Very good. Now, read each sound as I point. Now, let's blend the sounds and read the word. Shall we have a go together? A T A Waiter. That's right, waiter. A waiter is someone who serves you if you go out to eat in a restaurant. Now, I've got another word for you here. Can you spot the trigraph in this word? Where could it be? Yes, that's right, children. The trigraph is I. Now read each sound as I point.
Now blend and read the word. Let's have a go together. T, I, T, tight. If something is tight, it is close fitting. What about this word? Can you spot the trigraph in this word? Oh, brilliant. Yes, the trigraph is ear. Once again, read each sound as I point. Now, let's blend and read the word. Shall we have a go together? <sighs> ear. Hear. We hear with our ears. Very good. How about this word? Can you spot the trigraph in this word? Where could it be? Yes, the trigraph is air. Read each sound as I point. Now, blend and read the word. Let's have a go together. Air. Fair. If something is fair, then that means everyone is treated equally. OK, children, I've got one more word for you. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is here. It's U. Uh. Read each sound as I point. And now blend to read the word. OK, let's have a go together. L-u-k. Look. We look with our eyes. Great reading, children. Now, I'm going to mix the words up. I'm going to shuffle them so that they're in a different order. Can you read the words on the card without any help? I want you to read them aloud. Are you ready? OK, let's check. Now read them with me. Look. Chain. Waiter. Fair. Tight. Here. Fantastic reading, children. Well done. Today, we are learning to read a new way of writing the sound A. I'm going to say the sound A and I want you to copy me. A. 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 One more. A. Very good. Now, let's sound talk some words with the phoneme A. Copy me. Say the sounds and then see if you can blend the sounds to say the word. S A S A S A Say. We say our sounds together. Copy me. Say the sounds and then blend the sounds to say the word. P L A L-A P-L-A Play. We like playing games together, don't we? Let's sound talk our final word. Copy me, say the sounds and then blend the sounds to say the word. T-L-A T-L-A a. Tray. 
we can use a tray to carry objects. We know the sound A is written like this. Two letters making one sound is called a digraph. This digraph makes the sound A. There is another way to write the sound A and it looks like this. Let's read the new grapheme for the sound A. Can you say the sound A each time I show you the digraph A spelt with the letters A and Y? Are you ready? Oh, that was excellent. Now, let's read some words with our new grapheme for the sound A. Here's my first word. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Are you ready? Okay, now let's read the word together. D A Day. Did you get it right? Here's another word. Read each grapheme again and then blend to read the word aloud. OK, now let's read the word together. S A Say. Did you get that one right? OK, children, here's another word. I want you to read each grapheme and then blend them together to read the word. Are you ready? OK, shall we read it together? P L A Play Fantastic! How about this word? Sound talk each grapheme again and then blend them to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. Are you ready? S -p -r -a. Spray. Water can spray up when a car goes through a puddle. OK, let's read this word. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. OK, let's read the word together. Are you ready? M A May. We say, may I help you, if we are being really helpful. Here's my last word. Sound talk each grapheme again, and then blend them together to read the word aloud. Are you ready? OK, let's do it together. T -r -a. Tray. Did you get it right? Well done. Can you read these words now without any help? Are you ready? I'm going to hold them up and, I then, and then I want you to read them out loud. Here we go. OK, let's check. Read them with me. Day. Say. Play. Spray. May. Tray. Fantastic. OK, now I'm going to mix the words up. 
I'm going to shuffle them so that they're in a different order. Can you read the words on the card without any help? Are you ready? OK, let's check. Read them again with me. Play. Spray. May. Day. Tray. Say. Incredible! We're on fire today, children. Let's learn to read a tricky word. We are going to learn to read the tricky word O. Oh. Here's the tricky word O. Oh. And this is a tricky word because the two graphemes, the letter O and the letter H, go together to make an O sound. So when I read it, I say O. Oh. Now read the word with me. O. Oh. Awesome! Now read it yourself. What's the word? Sorry, what was that? Yes, that's right. The word is O. Oh. Now let's practice reading some tricky words that you have met before. Here's a word. Can you remember the tricky bit? Hmm. Yes, the tricky bit is here. The letters A and I say E. Eh. So can you read this word? Let's read it together. S E D. Said. Fantastic. The word says said. Here's another tricky word. Can you remember the tricky bit in this word? Yes, the tricky bit is the letter O. In this word, the letter O says O. Can you read the word? Brilliant. OK, let's read it together. S O. So. Fantastic. Right, children, now let's read some sentences with our new grapheme in it. Here's a sentence. Can you see a word with today's new grapheme in it? Remember, it's the grapheme A. Yes, that's right. There are two words. The words play and spray. Both have the grapheme A, spelt with a letter A, and a letter Y. Can you see any other words with digraphs in this sentence? Where could they be? Oh yes, here. The tricky word the, which you already know, has a digraph V. Can you see the tricky word that we already learnt to read today? Yes, it's here. The word O. Oh. OK, now I want you to read aloud when I point to the words. Are you ready? Wow, excellent reading. OK, let's read the sentence together. O. Oh. It is fun to play in the spray. Fantastic! It's fun to play in water spray when it's a really hot day. Right, children, now I have another sentence for you to read. Here it is. Can you see any words with today's grapheme A? Have a close look. Hmm. Yes, May 
tray and play all have the digraph A written with the letters A, Y. Can you see any other words with digraphs? Yes, very good. The words the, with and bedroom all have digraphs. Now I want you to read aloud when I point to the words. Are you ready? How did you get on? Shall we read it together? Are you ready? May I get the tray to play with in my bedroom? Excellent reading, children. Well done. I wonder what game the child wants to play in their bedroom. I hope they have fun. Wow! Fantastic reading, children. Now let's finish by spelling some words. Because if you can read a word, then you can have a go at spelling it too. You will need some paper and something to write with now. OK, children, let's spell two words with today's sound A spelled A-Y. Let's spell day. Segment the sounds with me. Day. D. A. Let's count how many sounds there are. D. A. That's right, there are two sounds. Watch me write the word day. D. A. There is the word day. Now I'm going to hide the word and I want you to have a go at spelling the word day. I'll say the word have a go write them down and don't forget the new spelling of the digraph A Let's check our spelling. Did you get it right? Well done. OK, let's spell another word. Let's spell the word play. Segment the sounds with me. Play. P -l -a. Let's count how many sounds there are. P -l -a. That's three sounds. OK, watch me write the word play and I'll say the sounds as I write them. Are you ready? P A. Play. OK, now I'm going to hide it and I want you to have a go. Have a go at spelling the word Off you go. Write those sounds down and don't forget the digraph A spelled with an A and a Y. OK, let's check our spelling. How did you get on? Fantastic! Well done! OK, now let's learn to spell a tricky word. We can read the tricky word O, so now let's try and spell it. Segment the sounds with me. O. How many sounds are there? O. Oh, that's one sound. OK, watch me write the word O. Are you ready?
O. Well, that is a tricky word. The sound O is made with two letters, the letter O and the letter H. The word is O. OK, I want you to have a go at spelling that word. I'm going to hide it and I want you to spell the tricky word O. OK. Say the sounds. What's the tricky bit? Remember, O written with a letter O and a H. OK, shall we check our spelling? How did you get on? Did you get it right? Fantastic, well done. Right, now let's practice spelling a tricky word that you've met before. The word is said. Segment the sounds with me for said. S-e-d. Said. Let's count how many sounds there are. S-e-d. Said. That's right. Three sounds. OK, watch me write said. Can you remember the tricky bit? Well, the first bit is easy. S. The second bit is tricky. The letters A and I say E. And the end, well, that's easy. D. OK, say the sounds to yourself and then write the word down. I'm going to hide my one and I want you to have a go. Say the word and say the sounds to yourself. What's the tricky bit? Remember, the letters A and I say E. Write them down. OK, let's check our spelling. Wow, well done, children. You've worked so hard practising reading and spelling. See you tomorrow for another lesson with letters and sounds. Well, there we go, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your letters and sounds lesson. You've worked really hard and we're so proud of you. Why don't you celebrate by sharing a lovely book together with someone at home? Thank you.